that I sat by myself In my room, out my mind, trying to handle my health All alone on the phone, hoping you pick up the cell But now I know how it goes when I get your voicemail Where were you on the nights that I sat by myself In my room, out my mind, trying to handle my health All alone on the phone, hoping you pick up the cell But now I know how it goes when I get your voicemail So many times I've cried So many times I've hurt So many times I've tried it Welcome back everybody to the iCrank Disc Golf channel I'm Corey and I'm over here at my local 9 hole disc golf course In Sumter County, Wildwood, Florida It's a nice little 9 hole It's a beautiful day out today No clouds in the sky I'm going to do a little throwing plastic in the woods for you It's episode 2 So if you would go check out episode 1 Link will be on the screen for that at the end of the video. Hole one is 432 feet. You gotta go up the gap for about 250 feet and it just takes a hard left, literally a 90 degree turn around the corner. That's why it's a par four. Can't get there in one because the ceiling's so high. I'll be throwing my Big Z Onyx about flat and hard, just straight up the gap at those two trees right in front of me. Oh, grip oh. Got a little bit of tree love off the tee. Grip locked in a little bit. It's all right. It's the first uh, first throw of the video. I also pulled I pulled another foundation and foundation disc golf and did not warm up. Did not warm up. There's the gap I was going for, but I grip locked it this way. Hit this tree, and I'm up here about right there landed about 80 feet short of the turn the basket is right there now you see our now you see why it's a par four so I gotta get around this corner that is very very tight I think I'm gonna go four and hopefully I get a skip to the pin. I'm going to play on a lot of high risk. Nope. Let's see if an Anheuser side on would have worked. No. Came out too early and almost in the same spot. I got it. A little upshot left. I'm just going to pitch it up and take my car. I just had a little tap in for par. On to hole two. What's really cool about this particular course is Greg Hosfeld, 1984 world champion, uh, designed it. And he's actually expanding it to 18 holes here in the next six months or so. They're already starting to clear it out. He's the person who designed the T2 layout at Turkey Lake. He designed Lake Hawk, Claremont, which is my favorite course. This course, um, countless others. So shout out to Mr. Greg Hosfeld. Now this is a pretty easy par four. It's just a slow bend to the left. Can't really see the pin from here. I'll show you it in the second shot. But you basically gotta get under the canopy, just something up there in the middle. Nice and easy. Now you might ask, Corey, why are you playing alone? Well, I live in the Villages, Florida area. The average age is 108. And all my friends live south of me because I moved here by myself with my wife and kids about a year ago. So I play by myself a lot. All right, the pin is right there through the electrical boxes. This is not a bad drive at all. You just have to contend with the electric boxes in that last tree. So I'm just going to throw a little hydro with my ending. Can't ask for anything better than that. 
All right, I got a little 15 footer. Should be a easy putt. There we go. All right, one down through two. Let's go. Look at this jungle. The tee pad is way back there. Hopefully, it's not underwater. This whole area is usually flooded out, but it hasn't rained in a little bit. Oh, there it is. Nope, not flooded. All right, this is a 308 foot par three. It is way down there in all those trees. You can see it right to the left of the center of the screen. I'm gonna go surge off the tee because I need something to go really straight for before it fades. Sorry for the camera angle. Um, the tall grass is obscuring the back view. So this is the best I can do for right here. That's a putt. I got a little 20 footer, I believe. Two down through three. Should be three down. Before throwing hole four, I just want to give a big shout out and congratulations to my guys over at smokingchainsdiscs.com. Matt and Ryan, congratulations on selling out on Cloud Breakers for the first time, first hot drop. Um, I hope it keeps going forward for you, and hopefully, one day, I can be, I can have a retail sponsor through you guys. Congratulations. Four is a 240 foot par three. I think it plays further because it's slightly uphill and to the left. It's about that. It's about right there. Going with my buzz on some highs there. Hopefully I can get there. See, this is a hole where I wish I... Yeah, I have a 25-footer, 20-footer, but this is a hole I wish I had a, I don't know, a wasp that I have at home that I haven't thrown in a while. Man, three down through four. Should have been four through four. That would have been my best start at this course. I've gone three down through four multiple times. I can usually never get three, but that was before I was throwing 300 330 consistently now I'm throwing that consistently this next hole is a challenge for me because I don't have a far throw thrown sidearm um, you'll see in a second all right this is a 322 foot hole it says but you got to go to that spider tree right there and it instantly goes left and it is if you have the sidearm for it it's easy but when you don't have it myself you gotta go with a flippy fairway. Now there is water on the left, so hopefully this thing flips for me. Go baby. Oh my God, I am on one today. I want to apologize for not like zooming in on the shots and stuff as they're flying, but I'm by myself and I do not have the editing capability right now to zoom while it's flying. So I hope you can bear with me for a little bit. Maybe I'll invest in Ace Trace. That way in edit I can, you know, follow the flight a little bit. Definitely the best drive I've ever had on this hole. And I still have probably 40 feet. Let's hope and pray. See if I can go four down through five. All right, hardest hole in the course here, par three, 389, and it's all the way down there. Low ceiling. It's, it's a tough one. I've lost three discs on this hole. Since this is probably outside my range, I'm going to go surge SS, see if I can at least get to a putting. I should be able to.
Hit the tr three, tree freaking three fourths of a way down. Chalk this one up as a par almost every time I play here. Damn, I wish I would have got one. Five down through five going into six. That's the perfect sp start at this course. Best drive I've had on this hole, I believe. I still have probably, this is probably 70 feet. I'm just gonna go a little up shot here, a little side arm. Oh, I can't miss. Middle on every time I upshot today. Your boy's on it today. Got a little tap in. take that four down through six all right let's i'm gonna go up the gap with my rhythm flippy fairway see if i can get it to the pin i believe that's short all right i'm gonna go for the fun gap now and go for that just for fun unless it's good Not good. The tree caught me. And I cannot wait for the redesign of this course. It is going to be so much fun. I'm hoping it plays like Champions Point, not Lake Hawk. Lake Hawk's a mess. I like it, but it's a mess. Not a bad lie whatsoever. It's pretty good for a little flat to turnover shot. That hyzer shot's so hard. Let's see if I can bang this 30 footer. Pretty soon here, probably in the next couple weeks, I'll be getting some lapel mics. So that way you hear more direct audio instead of my phone's audio. I would get a camera first, but your boy needs a computer for that. And your boy don't have the money for that. Welcome to the shortest hole on the course. It's literally, I think 180 feet, 189. Please excuse my water. It's a hot one in Florida today. Basically, you just throw something up the gut, hooks left. This is the most aceful hole in the course for sure, but it's a tight one. That's what she said. I'm going envy, slow, with some hyzer up the gut. Definitely the tightest hole on the course when it comes to gaps but it's a nice little hole i've seen worse 180 foot holes definitely a missable putt for me oh. i hate disc catchers god they're trash The course giveth, and the cor course taketh away. That's what I get for birdieing hole five. Thanks, course. I thought you loved me today. Welcome to the infamous hole nine at Lake Okahumka. This is my, I make a lot of reels on this course. And do all my field work here. The basket is right there, 328 feet. We'll go with my Surge SS on a big turnover shot. Uh-oh, go back. Yeah. 
Yeah, baby, that's a putt. Out drove the hole a little bit, but that's a putt. Bye. I'm going to realize on this hole nine that you don't go the right side of the tree. Like I always try. Hard and flat. You go around it, to the left. All the airspace is there. You can throw a big turnover, Corey. Just remember that for the future. All right, maybe I didn't outdrive the hole that much. Look at that. By a little bit. Can't complain too much, I guess. All right, so five down here through nine. Little tap out, come on. Yes! Hi. How you doing? Good, how are you? Great. All right. If you're still with me, thank you for being here. I shot five down through nine. That is the best score I've had here. Should, should have been six down. No, seven down. I got robbed on eight, and I did not get one. There's booty cheeks. And usually I get six, seven. Usually I get seven. Man. Got robbed, but I had some good ones today. If you could, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. I would appreciate it. It helps me out tremendously. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers before September. I got a lot going on in October, so hopefully that brings me some content. You could follow all my social media links. They're on my page. If not, they're iCrank94 on TikTok and iCrank6 on Instagram. I would greatly appreciate it. I upload about three or four times a week. That's all I can really get to. Again, thank you for being here with me. See you next time.